Hi, I'm the Highway Walker, and today we're going to watch my hillbilly husband build me a tripod. I have always wanted to start a fire and cook with a tripod, so I was going to buy me one, the cast iron kind that y'all see. And he's like, well, why in the world would you do that when we can just build one from the scraps we have in the backyard? And so that's what he did. He went out, got some scraps, built me one, and he'll show you how he did it, but then we'll see if we can actually cook over an open fire. I'm going to make a tripod today. Now, you can buy a tripod for your uh, camp oven. They got cast irons, they run about 35, 36 bucks, but they're heavy, and it's 35 or 36 bucks. Uh, we tore a fence down recently, and this pipe is, I put a little paint on it, try to make it look good, but um, it's about 35 years old, why waste it? And uh, I'm going to make three legs, and I'm going to make them 45 inches. I'm going to measure out 45 inches. And what's good about aluminum is, uh, one, it's light. Yeah, of course, it's non-flammable, which makes it nice if you use it around the fires. So, I'm gonna go 45, box it right in there, and I'll make a cut. Okay, here I'm using my vice grips, it holds it better. But, what we do, we just cut it. Now you can use uh, any type of metal cutter. Okay, now that I've cut the, uh, these into uh, 45 inch lengths. I want to smash the ends. Now you can do it either with a hammer or I'm just going to use a vice grips so it's quieter and it does a nice smooth job. Just stick them in here and I tighten this down and the ends will start to smash. Now like I said there's multiple ways you can do this but this little vice is doing a great job. Nice. Gonna be a good work out there too. Exactly. But <laughs> well, you can use more leverage. If I put a little piece on here, it'd make it really easy to do a bit of leverage. But I don't need to do that. Oh, here. It's definitely a I man's use one thing, of my holes. girl. You can stick a leverage on there. Oh, see and how it's you really think stuff. It's really simple. Oh, that's pretty so if cool. It gets heavy. Whenever you can use leverage, sometimes it's nice. You just do this. On all three pieces, right? All three pieces. Now these are smashed so I can drill some nice holes in there. And so I'm using just some old bolts that I've kept for years and now I can use them for this project. Now let me spin. I got a, a 5 16th uh, bit on here and that will be big, that'll make a bigger hole than the bolt that, that I, I'm going to be putting in. So now I'm Do you need glasses some, or anything? Uh, you can put glasses in if you I meant, are, is this going to flick? It might flick a little, but I'm far enough away. I feel comfortable, but okay, I'm just smart people probably would put glasses on, but I'm not that smart. Okay, now sure, in it goes. Belly. And then check to make sure it fits right in there. Okay, now you can see here I've got them all flattened and I've got a hole. Now, you're gonna have to bend two of these so that the legs will stay out a little bit. So you put that in your vise, like so, and just two of them. Your middle one will not need to be bent, just your two end pieces. So put that down fairly good. Now you're gonna have plenty of leverage, so you just bend it, like so. You bend two of these so that you have a little bend in your pipe where you're gonna put the bolt through. This will make your legs spread on the two, and the other, the one in the middle, doesn't need to be spread, so don't, you don't have to bend it, just two of them. And all this is just stuff I found, no money spent. Now I'm going to assemble it, should be easy enough. First take one of the bent poles, and you get your little hole. Now, I, it did have a washer here, so I said I'll put a washer in so it, but you don't have to. And then, you put in the flat piece, the one that does not have an inch on it, Next. Then, oh, I see it. And then you put your hook here, that goes on this particular spot, and then you do your other bent piece. And that goes in. Oh, you're so clever. Yeah. That's why you're my hillbilly husband, right there. Look that, at, it did oh, come. honey, that looks really good. Oh, thank you. No, really, I'm serious. That's going to be. That's fan. And then. It's going to work. No, it definitely is going to work. And then you put your uh, <laughs> washer on there, and it came with a wing nut, so that makes... And you don't have to get it real tight. But And you do this, you 
assemble this when you're close to the fire because it you do your assembly there and then you'll be ready. Awesome. There it is. Now I've kept my little old spring to adjust. It's got a hook to where I can hook the handle of the pot and then just hook it whatever how close you want to go to the fire. And Which we're gonna thing. try in this little bit, see if this all works. Right, and we're gonna give that a shot. Oh honey, that's way too cute. Oh you guys, is he the best? That is gonna be so cute. I can't wait to use it and try something out. You just build your cooking fire in that general vicinity on your fire pit. Yeah.